Hello, the Vijay Rishis. This is Vishnu Vijay, a proud friend drama, and I am here to introduce to you a really close friend of mine known as the Advance Audit and Assurance Paper. So, what exactly is this paper all about? What will we learn from it, and what exactly does the exam look like? This is exactly what we will be discussing. Okay, folks. However, before we deep dive into it, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notified of all more informative content. Now. When it comes to the AAA paper, the first thing that we're going to look at is basically the syllabus. Okay, folks. So, what exactly will we learn within the syllabus? Let's take a look at that, shall we? So, when it comes to the syllabus of advanced audit and assurance, the first area that we consider is basically part A, the regulatory environment. Okay, so what exactly is the regulatory environment? What exactly will we learn here? We will be looking at all the regulations that regulate the audit profession. That's basically it, and we also learn about why we need those regulations as well. Okay, folks, that's basically as to what part A is all about: the regulatory aspects of auditing. And then we have part B, that is professional and ethical considerations. Okay, so what exactly is this syllabus area all about? Basically, this is where we learn about all the ethics, ethical threats, etc. Okay, folks. That's kind of a common topic that we've looked at in a, quite a few papers as of now, isn't it? So that's basically what, what we will learn over here. And over and above that, there are also some professional issues that you will learn in this particular topic as well. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. Going on to the next syllabus area, that is Part C: Quality Control and Practice Management. Increase the quality of the service that they provide to their clients. This is exactly what we will be learning in. Part C: Quality Control and Practice Management. Okay, folks, that's basically it. And then you have Part D of the syllabus, that is planning and conducting an audit of historical financial information, which is basically all about the audit process itself, isn't it? How exactly is the audit conducted? What all things should be planned? What who should be implemented, etc. Okay, folks, that's basically it. And of course, a really important point that you have to understand here is that. Unlike the audit and assurance paper, uh, in the audit and assurance or the AA paper, we primarily looked at the audit process completely, isn't it? That's basically it. However, when it comes to the advanced audit and assurance paper, we will also learn some new auditing standards, some advanced auditing uh, standards. Other than that, we will also look at some other types of assurance engagement as well. Okay, folks, audit or statutory audit is not the only service that an audit firm provides, isn't it? There are also some other review services provided by an audit firm as well. So, what exactly are these review engagements? That's something that we will be looking at in the advanced audit and assurance syllabus as well. Okay, folks, so remember that. Now, moving on to part E, that is completion review and reporting. Okay, so this is basically the review stage of auditing, isn't it? So that we look at the aspects such as the independent auditors report and various other aspects in this particular syllabus area. And of course, there are some new auditing standards as well. Okay, folks, so keep keep an eye out for those. And then we have part F, which is other assignments. What does other assignments mean here? It is basically the other assignments conducted by the auditors, you know, by an audit firm, isn't it? That's basically it. Because as I stated earlier, there are some review engagements such as the review of prospective financial information or due diligence review or forensic audit. Kind of sounds cool, isn't it? So th these are some of the services that audit firms provide. So we will learn about these services as well. The matters to be considered before accepting these, how to plan these, how the reporting works, etc. All these things will be covered within this particular syllabus area. Now, moving on to one of the last uh, syllabus area, that is Part G: Current Issues and Development. What exactly is this syllabus area all about? You might wonder, isn't it? So this is kind of similar to what we have in the SBR paper as well. We also have current issues in several other strategic professional papers as well, isn't it? So what are current issues exactly? These are the issues or these are the developments that has occurred in the modern business scenario, isn't it? And we are basically understanding this. Okay, folks, that's basically it. So that we can be up to date professionals. That's basically the idea behind current issues, and these can be tested within your AAA exam as well. Okay, folks, so keep an eye out for those. Now, how exactly can we uh, understand, or how exactly will we know about these current issues? Well, you know, to stay up to date, another. 
activity. We will of course be covering all of these in our sessions, so don't worry about that. But over and above that, it's always a good practice to keep an eye out for the technical articles within the ACCA website as well. Okay, folks? So uh, this particular current issues as well as developments that has occurred within the audit profession would be updated in the technical article section. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind as well. And then we have the final syllabus area. And regarding this particular syllabus area, there is a bit, it's a bit different from all the others. Okay, folks, this particular syllabus area known as employability and technology skills is basically a new addition to all the papers in ACCA. Okay, so why exactly are we adding this? Is it something like the ethics? Because we have that in every paper as well, isn't it? However, it's not that. Okay, folks, employability and technology skills is just a practical skill that is expected of the student. Okay, folks, it's a practical skill that the students must develop in order to attend the computer-based exam. That's basically it. Okay, folks, basically some basic computer skills that the exam candidate should have. That is what syllabus part uh, H, employability and technology skills, is all about. And how do we learn that? There's, not, there's no theoretical aspect to learn here. Okay, folks, rather, it's a skill, isn't it? So all you have to do is you just have to practice a lot of questions within the CBE environment and understand as to what the functionalities are and what are the exam techniques that you can use within the CBE environment to tackle questions in a bit more efficient and effective manner. And this is exactly what we've done throughout our question marathon or as we call it the uh, video exam kit as well. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. Now, uh, moving on. So that's all about the syllabus of uh, advanced audit and assurance. So let's take a look at the exam structure now, shall we? When we take about the exam structure, we have two sections. Okay, folks, section A and section B. In section A, we have a 50 mark question. Out of these 50 marks, four marks are for professional marks. Okay, folks, and how do you score that? By providing the format of a briefing note, introductions, conclusions, providing headings as well as subheadings for your answer. Okay, folks, that is how you can score the marks over here. And of course, other than that, this 50 mark question would be related to the planning stage of audit. Okay, folks, and of course, you would be asked to identify and evaluate the audit risks or business risk and then uh, risk of material misstatements. And you can also expect some procedures to be tested within this particular area as well. And maybe even the uh, ethical or professional issues as well. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. And then you have the two 25 mark questions. And what exactly is the idea here? One of these 25 mark questions would be in relation to the review stage of auditing. Okay, folks, so that's something that we can expect. And of course, there are also several uh, questions that you can expect to come up with in these sections as well. And of course, current issue questions can also be tested within the section B as well. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. So that is basically as to how the exam works or how the AAA exam will be. Okay, folks. Now, let's talk about a few common mistakes that a lot of students make. Okay, folks, when it comes to the AAA exam, most students, what they do is they try to question spot their uh, exam. What is question spotting all about? Well, this is basically when you predict as to what can come from the exam and only prepare, prepare for those particular questions. That's basically it. For example, we can expect that there would most definitely be an audit risk question or substantive procedures or even ethical issues as well as professional issues, isn't it? So what the students do is they would practice a lot of these kinds of questions and then, uh, you know, uh, hope that this might show up in the exam so that they can excel in it. Okay, folks. However, that's not necessarily uh, an effective approach. Okay, folks, you should not question sport, avoid doing that, but rather it's very effective to learn the entire syllabus itself and then, uh, you know, attend and tackle each and every question. Because even though there are some questions that we can expect in the exam, there is still uh, a requirement of having the knowledge of the syllabus to tackle these questions. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. Learn the entire syllabus and then attend the exam. That is like the most effective and kind of obvious approach, isn't it? So keep this in mind. Okay, folks. Now, yet again, another aspect that you have to keep in mind is that the SBR level accounting standard knowledge is required for the advanced audit and assurance paper. Because when it comes to the advanced audit and assurance paper, there are some uh, accounting treatments that can be tested within this exam. Okay, folks, you don't have to explain the treatment in detail, like as to what you may have done in the SBR paper. However, you just have to briefly mention as to what the ideal accounting treatment would be in various scenarios. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. 
So that's yet again another requirement that you have. You need to have the SBR level, not the FR level, the SBR level accounting standard knowledge with you before you tackle this particular exam. Okay, folks. So it's kind of, uh, you know, uh, a common practice to attend this paper along with SBR or just after SBR. Okay, folks. So keep this in mind. So that's basically as to what the advanced audit and assurance paper is all about. Okay, folks. And that is exactly as to what I wanted to cover as well. If you have any more questions, feel free to shoot them within the comment section. I will be happy to answer each and every one of those. Okay, folks, so that's all what I want to cover in this session. Stay tuned for more informative video. And this is Vishnu Vijay signing off for now. Mm -hmm.